what up though what up though and uh back with another video still going no limit about to talk about Kane and abel's sophomore album uh am i my brother's keeper these back in uh what was that 90 90 98 no limit records priority records featuring the, uh his single time at the time so let's get into it man one of the dynamic duos no Limit Records, you know, Twin Brothers, Kane and Abel. First album was Seven Sins. This one uh, was their uh, last release on No Limit. And my, my Brother's Keeper. Green and Gold album cover. Fire album cover, man. Classic album in my book. A long album, too. Got uh, uh, so many dope tracks on there. So, a brief hist rundown of this album. So, uh... I got the album like back in 2000. No, I, pro I probably had the album the year it came out, but I never really fully listened to it. Like, yeah, man, I, I did have the album when it first came out because I remember back in uh, fourth grade. Yeah, uh, 98, I was in fourth grade. Me and one of my uh, homeboys, one of my dogs, we, we, uh, we was like, Niggas, niggas knew me for collecting No Limit Records. We already know that. Like, that's all I was about back in elementary school. Like, any new, anything No Limit that dropped, I had, for the most part. Not all of it, but I had most of it. So, uh, that was one of the albums I had. I had it on cassette tape. And it's crazy, because uh, that was one of the first cassette tapes I ever brought. Man, um, we got on the phone after school one day. And uh, I was at my grandma's crib. I brought the tape with me because, like I told y'all before, I used to keep all my no limit shit with me. I would bring it to school. I would sneak it to school. But if I was staying at my grandma's house, I would always make sure I, I would bring my no limit cassette tape with me because she had a radio in there. It was a cassette tape player. And uh, I used to be in the den listening to no limit all the time when I was a kid. So, yeah, I had uh, brought that with me. I was over there. Yeah, matter of fact, I think I was over there for the weekend. Cause mom dudes had to work so uh we I, I was on the phone with one of my homeboys we was talking about that album and uh i was playing it because he was like I, I i i heard it i like that and uh i don't think he could find it i'm like oh i got it on me so i was uh playing it while we was on the phone talking and he, he, i remember his favorite song was about that combat and uh, mine's at the time was Let's Go Get Him. But this album has one of my all time favorite songs on there. It's like probably in my top five, this record I'm about to tell y'all. Trying to Have Things, Master P, Moby D, Kane and Abel, Fiend. The second track on the album. I'll never forget, bro. Back in seventh grade, I wrote my first ever rap to that beat. Trying to have things. The second track, second track on the album. The one with, uh, like I said, Fiend, featuring Fiend and Master P. And I think that was either Odell, Odell or uh, Moby D on the hook, like they were singing. It was probably Odell, as a matter of fact, not Moby D. But yeah, I uh, I'll never forget it. It's crazy because I wrote that track. Like I had a crush on on this girl at the time. Like I was like crazy about her. She was like the cutest girl ever in school. She was like to me, she was frying everybody, you know. And uh, I remember I was sitting in class just like staring at her. This was crazy. I was in seventh grade, dog. Uh, crushing like hard on this girl so i remember i was just sitting in class staring at her i ain't give a damn about what the teacher was talking about i'm like you know what dog i was in the mood to make music i was just you know had no limit beats in my head then this song came like it popped up in my head i'm like yo like i love this song like it, it popped in my head i'm like damn i can't wait to get home so i can play it i pulled my pen and paper out i just wrote to that beat and I remember, like, uh, the song was called All I Want Is You. And I wrote, like, uh, a, I wrote, like, one verse. 
and a chorus dedicated to her. That shit was fucking funny, dog. And that was my first rap ever. And ever since then, like ever since that, it's been on with the with the with the rapping shit, with the rapping side of it. Like I just start writing music ever since that day. And uh, yeah, man. So uh, trying to have things. That's my favorite song ever, bro. Like no limit wise, like that. That's yeah. That that song right there is is the one for me, dog. Like they got the album on Spotify, man, and it's like. Every time, like, you know, Spotify rotate albums for you every day. So does Apple Music, you know. Every time I see that album, like, album of the day, one of the albums of the day, I always just immediately click on that song. Like, yo, let me get this song out the way. Let me listen to it right now a couple times. <laughs> Trying to have things. I love that record to death, man. But anyways, yo, you got, you got time at the time. This is for my smokers. My bad. It's track number three. Cause this this one for my smokers is the start is the second track, so it's track three. Sorry about that. But you got this is for my smokers about that combat. Let's go get them. Uh, what's that? Greens, cornbread, and cabbage. No limit, niggas. Soldier story. Uh, it, bro, it's, it's just so many dope records on there. Gangsta Five Forever, man. It's just so much dopeness on there. So much greatness on there, man. I love that album. It features all the soldiers. It's a classic in my book, man. It's a classic in my book. Like I said, uh, what else you got on there? Uh, uh, only time will tell. I mean, uh, only only God knows. My bad. Only time will tell was Master P. The, uh, the day song is called Only God Knows. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, it's a uh, ain't it a double disc album? Cause what's crazy is I love that album to death, but I still got the cassette tape, man. Like every time I look to buy the album, motherfuckers always want like fifty, sixty dollars for it. Like damn, man. I got bills, kids, family, house and cribs and cars to take care of. I can't shit. Sparing them fifty, sixty dollars is kind of hard to do. So I'm just settling for the cassette tape. Like I still got it at least. It's just that uh, that CD, cause it's a very popular CD. You know, no limit wise. It's a very popular C D. So like certain no limit albums you gon you gon' see when you go on there. Some of them like if you go on eBay, some of them albums gonna be like 10, 15, 20 dollars. But like the real deal popular ones, you gonna see gonna be like 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars, something like that. And Cain and Abel and My Brothers Keepers is one of them albums. And all the weird the uh, rare albums. Like Trey A, Ghetto Stories. You gonna have to spend some cheese for that one. Mercedes, Rear End. You gonna have to spend some cheese for that one. Uh, what else? Um, just weird, rare albums like that. Albums that, that's very hard to find by No Limit. And uh, the popular joints. So yeah, man, I don't know how much this album sold, but it, it, it's a masterpiece. I love this album to death, man. And I'm I'm happy like it, that you know this was released. I love it to death, man. I'm sitting here like because I'm, what I'm trying, what I do want to do on my channel is I want to uh, I want to cover every No Limit album I can. And I was like, I cannot go without doing Kane and Abel and my my brother's keeper. I'm like, I gotta cover that. So yeah, I was sitting here thinking today. I'm like, yo. Let's talk No Limit. Let's talk Cain and Abel and My My Brother's Keeper. So what are y'all, some of y'all favorite songs on there? Let me know in the comments, man. You could do two, three, four, five, it don't matter. I say, you already know, Trying to Have Things is my first favorite. Only God Knows is probably my second, and uh, Let's Go Get Them. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, what else? What else about this album? I said that was that uh was one of the, the album I wrote, one of my first raps to, one of the first cassette tapes I brought. Um, yeah. <coughs> Damn, bless me. Yeah, man. Like, comment, say, subscribe. It's Ant Dog, the biggest dog, and I think I've seen somebody with a vinyl record. 
But it's like, I be looking, all I see is the generic. Like, I don't want that. I don't like the real deal. I want the album cover in the back. I want all of that. I don't want no generic. I hate generic vinyl. That's, for those that don't know, that's like the actual record, but the sleeve is just nothing. It's either black or white. I don't want that. I want like the actual album cover, front and back. I don't like all that generic shit. I got got a few times. I'm thinking I'm buying the, you know, the real deal. And then some of the vinyl be generic. Be mad as hell. But yeah, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know how y'all uh, feel about Cain and Abel's. That my, my brother's keep. Well, I love the title, by the way. You know, they name is just dope. It, 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 this album is way harder than Seven Sins, their first album. This album is way harder than that. It seemed like, bro, in 98, man, No Limit was at its peak, man. Yeah, because they was dropping every week. They got, like, a lot of masterpieces from uh, to, uh, 1998 that came out. A lot of albums. The Last Dime was released in, 90, uh, released in 98. So much greatness by No Limit. Uh, yeah, and I, My Brother's Keeper was one of them. I never understood that till I got older. New Jack City shit. Fucking, uh, 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 they name from the, uh, the brothers in the Bible, but they, uh, they spell it different. Cain used this K instead of a C. And Abel, his is, uh, what? B-L-E. In the Bible, I think it's B-E-L. Yeah. So, um, that stood out to me, too. Yeah, that, that artwork is just, it's, it's just dope, man. Cigar, jewelry, matching outfits, money, green, gold, black. This is just fire, bro. And, 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 and you want to know something? That's like, aside of the, aside of the music, <clears throat> what caught my attention with No Limit was their album covers. They always had the best album covers. Cash Money ain't do that shit till later. I mean, Cash Money had fire album covers, but I, I wasn't checking for Cash Money. I ain't, I ain't care about all of that till later. Like, two, later, like 99, 2000, like they say. I ain't care for all of that till later on, but yeah. So when I seen this, uh, 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 yeah, cause it was the bootleg man, the DVD man, the CD man. He had music, movies, all of that. He was on the corner. We was in the hood, man. I was at the barbershop. I was either at the barbershop or me and mom dudes was riding by. So like at this particular spot, he used to be at in the hood. I will, he was always in the same spot. I will always see him. Whether when my moms or pops, I will always make sure if I had money, like yo, stop! I gotta, I gotta check him out. I gotta buy something. You know, and, uh, he was over there. He had that. I heard Kane and Abel, but I'm like, okay, they no limit. Who are these cats? I brought it because it said it, it had that tank, executive produced by Master P on the back of it, and I liked it, that artwork. They have some of the dopest artwork ever. No, they had the dopest artwork ever. So yeah, that's how I got like really purchased that album. Got home, cut that, put that motherfucker in the cassette tape player. Time after time. I'm like, yo, this album is fire. But uh yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know. Y'all favorite tracks, how y'all feel about this album. Oh, five mics, by the way, too. How many mics do you give it? Is this your favorite Kane and Abel album? You prefer this or the first one? Uh, yeah, let's talk. Am I my brother's keeper? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Ant Dog, biggest dog in the mall. The dog is out.